Today in my book, In Ineffable Attributes, we will be going over God's infinitude. Now, infinitude means the quality or state of being infinite. So Psalm 113, 4 through 6 says, The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high, who looks far down on the heavens and the earth? God is infinite in all that he is and all that he does. He has no limit, uh, limits or limitations. Whatever God is, there is an infinite degree to that very thing. So if we think about God's power, there is no limitation to God's power. He is infinite in his power. And if he so, cho so chose to do so, he could make an infinity amount of our universes if he so cho chose to do so, he could make an infinite variety and amount of people made in his image because God is able, the only one who is able to create that which can continue on without reaching an, uh, a peak or an identical situation. So each person, uh, you know, the, we know that at some point the Lord's going to come back and, you know, there's going to be a final judgment day. But if God so chose to do so, if for some reason he wanted the infinity of our time on earth to continue on for infinity, he would be able to make a unique individual, no one person the same, to an infinite degree. He could keep that going on and on and on because his power and his creativity is infinite. And so we can understand the magnitude of God's uh, limitless and boundlessness. So let's take, for example, uh, let us think about where we are, you know, the nation in which we live in, and then let us think about the world. Now let us think about the clouds in the sky. Now let us take the galaxy in which we reside in. Uh, now let us take in the entirety of the universe. Now let's uh, bring that down into the standpoint of, of a grain of sand, okay? They, all that we know, uh, the universe and everything, is but a grain of sand. Now, let us, let us envision God for the sake of just understanding this example. Let us think of God as the sun, the, the burning ball of sun that we know to be the sun, S-U-N. Now, in a picture, if we were to take the sun and then put a grain of sand within that picture, the grain of sand of all that is, the universe, our earth, ourselves, all that is, it's in that picture but it cannot even be remotely seen when compared to the big ball of sun. And so likewise is it with God's infinitude compared to all that he creates. He, he has no bounds or limitations, and so he is the infinite maximum. There, it, anything that he is, anything uh, that, that he is as far as his boundlessness and his limitless, limitlessness of his being, his being is so vast and so far beyond anything that we can understand that the entire universe is but a grain of sand compared to the sun if we are viewing God as being the sun. Like we can't even see all that is currently when that grain of sand is compared to the sun. So God's infinitude is incredible. Not even the heaven of heavens can contain God. So he is an infinite God of infinite power, infinite creativity. His being and his form is infinite. It's not bounded by a certain localized uh, section. Because God is not a localized section, he is all that is, and he is limitless and boundless, and he is in all realms and all dimensions. He is even in... Uh, dimensions by which we will never come to know because God transcends all that he creates. Even when we're in heaven, God is infinitely beyond heaven. Although Christ will be in heaven, although God's presence will be in heaven, God himself collectively is still beyond heaven. So God's infinitude is absolutely amazing, miraculous, and astounding to even comprehend and to meditate upon. So one of the four uh, or one of the five quotes that we will end with is from Blaise Pascal. He says, We know then the existence and nature of the finite because we also are finite and have extension. 
We know the existence of the infinite and are ignorant of its nature because it has extension like us, but not limits like us. But we know neither the existence nor the nature of God because he is neither extension or limits. God is infinite in all that he is, and he is worthy of praise. He is the greatest pursuit, and may we continue to grow in the knowledge of God's infinitude.